Shalima has seen a lot of Nanaimo over the last 20 years. But the Nanaimo that she sees today is a very different one than she saw when she first arrived. I was feeling a bit lost and not a little different and foreign because I was almost new to Nanaimo. And I didn't see anything that was familiar to me, like there was no black people. Shalima was studying at Malaspina College, which is now Vancouver Island University, in 1999 when she was introduced to a book called A Resource Guide on Black Pioneers in British Columbia. I thought, well, if you got all these pioneers here, why aren't you celebrating black history? So I wanted to find out if the community would embrace something of that nature. With some help from the faculty at the college, Shalima organized the first meeting of sharing about black history and culture, although she wasn't sure if they would get much support. We wanted to go out in the public to see if people were interested. And to our amazement, we got 95 people showed up at one meeting. This was the beginning of the Nanaimo African Heritage Society, but certainly not the beginning of Shalima's life as an entrepreneur. Living in New York at 10 years old, she was already making changes happen. I just saw the need of our neighborhood who didn't have to have um, areas for children to play in. So the little kids all played in the streets. So there was an abandoned building there. I went and I created, got grown-ups to create a uh, center there for children. While Shalima grew up in New York, she was born in South Carolina and also lived in Washington, D.C. She started traveling Canada in the early 80s, which only makes sense since her name means flow like the wind. This is what I was modeling in New York. Shalima has worn many hats, with many years as a runway and print model, as well as being a singer, dancer, and a nurse's aide. Although she's found her niche at the Nanaimo African Heritage Society and is an advocate and a teacher in the community. Black History Month was created by Carter G. Wilson. He was an educator who went to Harvard University in 1926. It first started as a week, and then it grew into a month. Shalima now hopes to see more young people get involved in the Nanaimo African Heritage Society and in the Black History Month celebrations. It's about the pride and the contribution and to keep that in knowledge and for the young people to grow up and feel that their families and their ancestors contributed to our country like anybody else and so we're all inclusive. Although it is Black History Month, Shalima wants people of all cultures and backgrounds to be included. I know my history. I kind of know about all the ancestors. I want you to know. So the only way you're going to know is you're going to come out and we're going to share that information together. And just like Black History Month has grown over 90 years, from a small idea to the international celebration that it is today, Nanaimo has evolved quite a bit as well. I see lots of multicultural around Nanaimo now, more than I ever did before. Of course, we're having all the international kids that come to town, which lends a lot to our community. And I see lots of uh, mixed families moving into town of all different nationalities, so that's wonderful. And wouldn't life be dull if we were all the same? Can you imagine putting a salad together and all you put on there is lettuce? How boring is that? But when you put the peppers in there and you put the cucumbers in there and all these different colors, it's like, it's dancing to your eyes, it's dancing to your taste buds. And that's how I feel about life. Shalima's passion goes beyond black history. She's committed to equality and unity of all people, no matter where we come from or what color we are. We're in it together, we're going out together. We have to embrace love of each other. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Fiona Shedden.